Miles paid off. Yeah, cool character. A little crazy back end. Oh man, Cheddar brought Wes holding it down for the team. Two, two, two sets. Huh? We get to carry that bad boy out of here. This could be the. It's the only sheep ever been on my pack before. Oh, <laughs> oh I keep catching my binder <laughs> stuff. I got you. I got it, dude. <laughs> Pull up. Hey, All right. Day four? Day four. Holy smokes. Day four of our little trip, guys. Um, new zone, just exploring, spending a lot of time covering ground and looking for a new spot. Hoping to find something with a little better quality on this hike. Five of us again, all of us, we got Wes, Ben, Drail, Martin behind the camera. We're just going to go have a good time. It's been a fun trip already. Most likely our last day, so we're going to give it everything we have. Looking for elk sheds. Oh, vinyl harness on the back. <laughs> oh, I keep catching my binder stuff. <laughs> I got you. I got it, dude. <laughs> Pull up. Hey, All right. Every time. All right, everybody. Oh, look at that. Dead bull sawed off. Somebody has been here. There's been a lot of people here, actually. We have all split up going our separate ways and it has been boot track galore a lot of boot tracks and I don't blame them it looks really good here so I'm going cut off t-shirt because it is hot I'm putting the sleeve on my head to protect the ears from uh, the Sun we're motoring trying to cover a lot of ground as quickly as possible to get out of these boot tracks well, climbed out of the bottom, and we're on to the first shed of the day. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we came for, right on this bench. He's probably bedded right here on his little lookout, checking out the zones. Little three, four point. Let's find some big ones now. Well, here goes nothing. We all split up and starting to cruise. We're seeing a mixture of elk track, deer track, and man track. Lots of boots on the ground out here. I just stopped to put my do-rag on and looked down and saw this. I was like, if that's a coos deer, that thing's a giant. Oh, it is. <laughs> Dang, too bad it's so old, but just because these are so unique and hard to find, I'm gonna keep that. Heck yeah, big old coos deer to start the trip off. We knew down at this low elevation there'd definitely be a chance to find some deer sheds. We got one on the board, so uh, hopefully the other guys are getting into something. Well, like I always say, I love to find the steepest out crap and thickest, nastiest stuff. Hopes to find where some bulls wintered and shed. More elk droppings there. And this is what I'm working with. <sighs> A little band of ledges right here. It never really flattens out or anything, but it should be a little smoother once I get above this elevation. But look at this track and trail. Clearly some bulls have made their way through this stuff. So I'm gonna go that way right there. All right, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Been walking a little, little while, a couple hours. Sat down to grab myself a drink. Pulled out the glass. Boom. Looks like a six point brownie sitting right here. I'm gonna glass the rest of this hillside. 
and I'll flip this around and I'll show you guys. I got worried because <laughs> I couldn't find it for a second. And there we go. Look at that. Yes. That's a good bull. Brownie. Yes. That is a good bull. Stud brown. Oh my goodness, where's his other side? Uh, I might have to stick around here and do some circles. Let me get some picks and I'll pick him up. All right, guys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that bull. That is a stud. He has this great palmation right there. Look at that thing. That is so sweet. Oh, I love it. He's dense too. Yes. Oh my goodness. I am content <laughs> finding this guy. That's all I wanted right there for this trip. Mm, that just, that made the whole day for me right there. Heck yeah, let's go find some more. Guys, I'm stuffing my face with Cheez-Its. I just found something I have never found and I had no clue you could even find. What the heck? I saw a spine over there of bones, looked up the wash and there's a small rib cage. Look what's attached to it. What the heck? What on earth? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not a sheep guy, but that's a freaking giant. I'm pretty sure that's like big, big. Wow. Holy crap. That is a freaking giant. Wow. That thing is definitely old. I mean, look at the rib cage. There's hardly nothing left on the rib cage. Just sitting and getting buried in this wash. Dang. Guys, that's freaking cool. Just because I've never found one. I don't even, I don't even really think about these things much. Obviously, I've never hunted them because it's like impossible to get a tag. But that's a big ram. That's a big ram. Wow. Oh. Holy crap. That is gnarly. Look how busted up that side is. That's old. Dang. Doesn't even stink, really. Look at that thing. That's cool. Well, I'm not 100% sure on the rules for deadheads, especially sheep. I don't know if they're any different than elk or deer. I'm gonna leave it there. But I am gonna get to the top of this mountain and, and try to get some phone service. The sucky thing is it's Sunday. I might not be able to get a hold of fishing game, but I wanna keep that. It's the first one I've ever seen on the ground dead. First one I've ever found. And like I said, it looks pretty good. I can't tell how long the horns are because they're still buried, but I'm gonna pick up my bag as much as I'd love to to take that. Um, it would suck if I did take it and called fishing game and they were upset about that. So I'm just gonna leave it. The radios are popping, but I have bad service. I'm gonna climb to the top and try to get a hold of these guys, see what they say, and then see if I can't get a hold of a fishing game officer to to talk to and maybe turn that in with GPS coordinates, but that is freaking sweet. That's a big ram, guys. And I don't even know rams that well. And that's a big one. It's got mass. It looks like it curls. Again, I don't know how far it goes, but it'll be so fun to dig it out on camera if I get a chance to come get it. So let's hope so. For now, see you, ram. That's what's so fun about hiking, guys. You never know what you're going to find. Oh, boy. Oh, time to sit down and enjoy the view out there. Time to rest, refuel, eat some snacks, drink some Mountain Ops at night, get ready for round two. Bust into the Exo Pack. 
Let's see what we got in the way of lunch. We got some Cheez-Its, tuna, Pop-Tart Ritz, a little bit of jerky, Rice Krispie Treats. So we'll do that, relax, sit in the shade, take in the view. And then if we don't have anything glassed up, we'll bounce over and hit the south slope. Update on the sheep. I have just walked up the ridge probably two or three hundred yards to get phone service and I've been on the phone with a bunch of people, everyone except like an officer. So BMAC is actually home doing a lot of homework trying to help me out. So I don't want to leave the zone and until I'm told like I just simply can't take it. A little confusing to me. I don't know the exactly the handwritten rules in the guidebook. So I'm doing my best trying to take care of the process the right way. Fingers crossed again. I'd love to get it back. I've got pictures, video, dropped a pin, everything needed. Just trying to hang out on this hill with phone service and come on. That skull for me, clearly the coolest thing I've found um, on this trip. So I'll keep you guys posted. What up? What'd you learn? All right. So I got a hold of uh, one of the fish and game officers, a uh, super nice guy. He said he would like you to reach out to him mm -hmm. and then share the Onyx waypoint of where the skull currently is. He said it's pretty unlikely that it would be poaching because it is a class four ram, whatever that means, like a nice one. Yeah. Um, and he said most likely it's either predation or potentially an illness. Uh, assuming there's no like foul play, he said there's a very strong uh, possibility for you to recover that ram. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like there's a pretty good opportunity for you to get it. That'd be cool, man. That'd be way fun. Yeah, so he's, uh, I've got his stuff. I don't, are you getting text through at all? What's that? Are you getting any text through? Right yeah, now? you should be able to push a text to okay. me. I'll send you his contact info then. Okay. And if you want, you could probably just call him and then figure it out. Cool, man. All right, I'll do that. I'm okay, going to give so him a I'll call. Send it over. Good luck, man. Thanks for all your help, BMAC. You're the no, man. No, no, <laughs> Later. Well, we're one step closer. BMAC's going to text me. I'm going to call the officer. And, uh, you know, we'll see what he says. This is Eric. I guess you just talked to my buddy Brian about this sheep. Sure did, Eric. How are you, sir? <laughs> Good. He's been doing a bunch of homework since he had better phone service for me to try to track somebody down. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. He has, he's been, his fingers are on fire. Yeah. So I, I know he told you what's up. I just been out here looking for elk sheds and stumbled on this sheep, which I had no clue that was even a possibility. I'm still up here now. I'm only probably 400 yards from it. Okay. If you wouldn't mind, if, could you send me a, um, a waypoint from kind of where it's at and then send me some more pictures? I kind of, I'm curious to see what the rest of the carcass looks like. Yeah. Yep. I can send. I got pictures of all that stuff right now. Perfect. Fire it over. Let me take a look and then just kind of uh, hang out in service there and then I'll give you a shout back in a minute. Okay, cool. I'll send you some pictures now. Perfect. Thanks, Eric. Yep, you're welcome. Well, the lunch break is over and we are back to picking up sheds on the board for the second half of the day. Chalk mule deer. Cool little guy. Little G2. Chewed up a little bit, but this does look really good right here especially. So I'm going to drop down, do a small loop, come right back up through this grass. It's looking pretty good. And that's promising. Not an elk shed, but still a shed. <laughs> this one is in some bad shape. We will put you right here to rest. I hopped on Onyx Maps, and I'm about as far away from any road as you can get. Maybe about five miles is the closest, closest one, four to five miles. Get up here, take a look around, and then start working this side hill. It's the right elevation, and there's elk sign here, like fresh elk sign. <sighs> Wish me luck. I need, I need some elk sheds in my life. I found a few this trip, but man, compared to the miles height, I've got my butt kicked. It'd be nice to get a little, little redemption, get a pack full. Head back to camp. I can't get any service or radio service, so um, it would be nice to load up and kind of surprise the boys back at camp when we get back. Well, started to grid as soon as I dropped off of 
that little saddle and we got our first one. Looks like a chalk and it's a little older, but decent quality. Seven by, heck yeah. Definitely an old one. Almost not even worth packing out, but since I don't have much going on, I'll take him for now. Right where, I, I mean right where you would think this hillside is perfect. Good cover, shade, feed, tucked up here in this canyon. Check out how his third is barely hanging on for dear life. <laughs> oh, I don't want to have to take you. I wish I had better sheds on my back. But uh, we're going to take him for now. But it's a good start. As you heard, we got a hold of the fishing game officer. And I sent the pictures he requested. Which really, there's a lower jaw. The head, which is attached to a little bit of a spine, and his, you know, the rib cage. Got him pictures, and, and he asked me to go back down to it, unbury it, kind of brush it off, and send him some photos. Now, I don't know, I don't know if they're trying to identify maybe a ram they know about out here. I really don't know. Uh, provide him the information he requests, and hopefully by doing so, we can uh, have a chance to keep it. All right, back down into this little wash bed. And I could see the backbone or whatever the heck it is. Let's go take a closer look at that anyways. Yeah, there's the ram. So this piece, like I said earlier, is what caught my eye. Like the back half of his ribs and his little pelvis bone there. And this is down in the ditch. So, like I said, told me to unbury it so we will do so let's go give you guys a closer look before we dig it up <laughs> it's the second time that's happened so there he is he is in the middle of this wash clearly the wash was running at some point this winter with snow melt and all that this is going to be interesting heck i'm happy i at least get to have permission from them to take uh, and dig him up. Alright. Well, like the fish cop said, pull him out. Woo! A little moldy right there. Yikes. Things have some, these things have some serious weight to them. Holy crap. Ooh, more mold. Well, there he is. Dude, I can't believe how much this thing weighs. That's heavy for all that's there. I mean, there's no meat on the rib cage. I'll leave that on. Look at this thing. <laughs> I didn't, I've, I've held a couple, I guess, but I guess maybe I didn't pay much attention. These things are heavy. There he is. There's his side profile. Dance, man. straight on the... Guys, I'm not kidding. Oh, that thing weighs a lot. So, I'm going to try to get some good pictures for the fish cop. And uh, hopefully have enough service. If not, have to go up the hill again to send him some. But that's interesting. Looks like a good one. Any sheep experts? Is this a good one? Let me know in the comments. Here he is all said and done. This stick, I'm sure that's just under his hide, yeah. A lot of downfall down here. Yeah, but there he is. Whew, thing is massive. Had to have had a lot of moisture down in there in the water. That's kind of a bummer, but 
for the most part that thing is still still all there leaving it right down there in the bottom where it laid and I have to I think I have to climb up the hill again to get some pictures out on a cell phone but um I kind of guessed that those horns were a little longer but still a great ram heck yeah guys I am so pumped right now I just hit a boot track somehow clear up here I don't know whose it is <sighs> but we got a brown six point right here right by there they freaking walked right by it on this nice little shaded bench but not a giant but just a good solid shed check it out heck yes kind of skinny back here but his beam drops down just average six point bull whoever it was walked right there through those trees and missed it laying in the wide open do a pickup for this guy just because haven't got to yet <laughs> pretty cool young bull dropper beam sweet <laughs> it's almost hot to touch just because of laying out in this sun I knew there was gonna be sheds and I knew there had to be a pocket up here just looked like there would be one hot on onyx and sure enough got up in here and it went from dead zone to just elk haven well that is exactly what you want to see found my brown right there did a zig a zag looks like a hard white good size broken on the back end sitting right here on this bench I mean definitely a little difficult to see but surprised that it has been missed if people have been in here walking one of those sheds that you just have to walk onto literally where I started filming from is where I first saw it from so <laughs> We're on the board with a hard white, a chalk, and a brown all in the same pocket. And really, I'm just getting started on grading this. Oh, yeah. Last year's decent weight to him. Just broke on the beam right here. Cool bowl. Has some sap right there. Look at that on the G1. Gosh, freaking hot to the touch, though. Bacon out here on the south face. Well, a little more walking. Got another shed. This time it is a coos deer. Looks old and chalky. Unfortunately, pretty good sized eye guard. Chewed up though, right by the elk tracks in chalk. So uh, I'll put this guy in a bush so nobody else can find him set him right there so uh have a confession to make i now do not believe that was a boot track i saw um because i was like well if it was eric or anybody i'd be able to get him on the radio and i have zero service right now so that didn't make sense walked a little further and uh it's a bear track <laughs> probably hopefully don't have a run in with him He's probably just off doing his own thing. But uh, I think it's a bear track, not a person track. But we're just going to grid this hillside. I think there's a good chance we scoop up some more. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. I think I got a good connection here. Uh, Woo. All right. Uh, you want the good news or bad news? Uh, good news, then bad news. Well, which one do you want first? Uh, good news, then bad news. Being a good law enforcement officer, we always like to review the rules. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to read you the rules. So, that means you can keep it. <laughs> no way! That's so cool, man. Alright, but I need, if, you can, if you can accommodate this favor, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, whatever it takes. Um, we've had some issues, and I you know, mentioned that to uh, Brian, too, with kind of some disease and death. Yeah. Um, it's a lot farther south than there, but... No, nonetheless, you know, we kind of like to keep tabs on all the rams that come out of there. Uh -huh. So, I'd like to take a look at that head and get some measurements off of it. Can I snap off its its head then, right there behind the head? or? Yeah, that's fine. Do you want the lower jaw for any studies or aging or anything? 
Yeah, if you can pack that out, that'd be good. Yeah, I sure can. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Hey, thank you. Thanks for your help. You have no problem. I'll talk to you later. See you, man. Bye. Bye. We get a sheep head. Boom. That's so cool. Huge thank you to B Mac. He was back home doing uh, all the work I, I couldn't do up here. Just tracking down the right uh, fishing game officer on a Sunday. It's not easy. So thank you, B Mac. Guys, we get to get the head. Let's go down and get it. Whew. Goodness, guys. I just about walked by one. I did walk by one. Laying tines down right there. Looks like the match. It's a right side and the beam's dropping down just like the other one that I picked up, brown. 300 yards apart from each other. I was surprised I hadn't found the other side with how well I was gritting. But you could see, especially laying tines down, how well that could blend in. I walked right by it and luckily looked back from that tree to see it sitting there. Let's put them together and see just if they are a match. Get some of these weeds out of your way. Yes, sir. Brown six point match with the droopy, droopy main beams. Nothing giant, but a cool brown set. I think that might be my first set of the whole weekend. It's getting later though, and we have a long hike out, but I'll hit this as long as I'm finding antlers. So let's keep it going. One set down. Man, am I stoked that this is the last time I'll probably be ever be in this little draw. And we get to carry that bad boy out of here. Let's get him. He did ask for the lower jaw. So we'll gently throw that up there. And get the beast. <laughs> I had no clue. These things were so heavy. Don't want to ruin his nose either. There we go. We got him. me a drink of some Mountain Ops. <clears throat> Never packed a sheep before. <laughs> oh, all right. What's going to be best for this guy? guys I wish you guys can feel how heavy that is for any of you guys that never had the chance like me I was honestly thinking to myself I wonder if that's gonna happen it felt nice and sturdy I I tried both threw the backpack on and look what we got the horn <laughs> the horn fell off and I'll tell you what that stinks now this thing reeks bad. Well, I went ahead and slid it back on and strapped it down a couple times on the XO pack. So hopefully that holds on my hike out. I got a pretty steep slope to kind of cruise around and drop down into the creek. And then from there, I'm really just gonna map out the easiest route, which is gonna be the creek bottom, um, all the way back to the truck. What a good sight to see. Nice running water. I should be good on my water levels, but uh, I'm gonna put this little headband in there and get some, uh, get it wet so that it'll cool off my forehead and head before I make this push for my last little bit. Probably eat a snack right now and keep going. Try to radio the guys once I hit this top, I should get service. We'll go cheese it and a nutter, nutter butter. Even if it's a hard white, I'd love, love to pick up one more set to end the trip. We got a long ways before we get back to camp, so it's very possible. But a good day 
no matter how we end it. Not bad at all. Well, it looks like at least three of the guys are back to camp, so they're doing a little show and tell. We'll show up and show them this piece. Nobody knows I have it. We'll go see what they found. Who's got a hot dog for me? I knew it, you. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Hold up, man. Can you take these? Yes, sir. Dude, that's so bad. Oh, my gosh, dude. What a look. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look how oh, oh, no. massive that is. Dude, that is a big dude. sheep. He's big, huh? Dude, that's a big oh. sheep, dude. Are you going to plug him for you? Uh, he wants to score him and age him, but he didn't mention plugging. He might have to though. I think they do plug him. Yeah, I heard somebody Jesus. do. Dude, dude, that's so sick, bro. How many years is that thing? That's like the dream. Dude, that's time. like a 12 year old ram. He <laughs> probably died of old age. Like, I can't even really tell. To that's what I can't him, but tell that's... either. Because I know He's you can count these so rings, dumb. right? And they're, oh, I they're really don't know. He's first, cool, huh? Uh, age is usually four right there, and then goes on. But dude, <laughs> <laughs> that thing's so massive. He's cool. Yeah, he's heavy, dude. Bingo. Back to pretty much dang where we started um, today in that first zone and uh, got a shed spotted here. I'm gonna hit a hillside that's a south face that was just south of the one I came up. Um, could have been hit, could have been glass by now, but it does look like a decent area and that's a good sign that we were on an elk trail and we find an elk shed on the way to get ready to bounce over there. Way good fronts and just average everywhere else. All right, we have topped out. I think we are maybe 500 yards from the, the trucks. No antlers since that chalk. Got on boot tracks. Seems like it's more popular as you get closer to where the road is. But checking my Onyx map, I've been hiking for eight hours and 40 minutes and I've gone 13 miles today. So 13 miles and maybe nine, nine sheds or so, counting the uh, deer sheds that I found today. It's not a bad day at all. A few chalk, only the two browns, but still a great day. We'll go back, see how everybody else did. Hopefully they're at camp, I haven't heard from anybody. Uh, so we'll check in there. Back at camp with the boys. Found, they found some good sheds. Ben found that one. That's a good brown by Wes. I'm eating my tortilla and hot dog. Eric is over here scoring his his big sheep. Right? Yeah. You so, know what you're doing? No. He's 32 and a half on this side. And his bases are like 15 and a half. Right underneath that hairline right there. Actually, I'm going to pull it this way. I'll pull it to right there. Fifteen and six eighths. Eighty seven point seven five is his horn. And if you doubled two. it. One seventy five. Dude, but yeah, it's so big Dude. and awkward like that's a that thing's huge. It's so yeah. Heavy. So the world, <laughs> the world record's like two two oh five. Dang. Oh, look at the mast. It's stupid, bro. Getting ready for picks. What should we do with everybody? Oh. Always fun to see what we uh we got when it's all said and done. Came, came out swinging. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, thank trip, you, though, gentlemen. Sure. I appreciate fun. the hike. Yeah, we'll awesome do it again. Time. Okay, guys, we made it down to town, and we're actually meeting up with Fish and Game to check out this skull. So, with a little bit of luck, maybe we should be able to get this thing back. We'll see what he says. He's going to score it and age it for us real quick, too. So that should be interesting. Let's go. 
let's go do this. So it's basically it's attached kind of that sinus cavity runs all the way into that bone. Is that what that is? Yeah. So well, they'll get an infection called sinusitis, just kind of sinus infection, and it'll swell that bone, and then in turn it'll swell the horn and break like that. And break. So you think that happened then? Yeah, but this was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 0.75 plus 10.75, 21 and a half. Alright guys, we got the head. It's uh it's like a weight off my shoulders, like we get to keep it. Pretty cool. First one I've ever found. And put a tape to it, scored it just under 170. I guess he says that's pretty that's kind of right in that pocket of what a lot of the hunters who draw this tag end up shooting. So great ram. Pretty cool to come down and meet him and he he seemed to really appreciate the fact that we Tried to take the proper steps, send him photos, show him the, all the bones, um, and do it right. So we were rewarded with a big old sheep head. So, fun trip with these guys. Oh, yeah. Shed Crazy Channel, the Rise and Shed Channel. Just want to say thanks to these guys for a great time. Andreo, he's already bounced out. He's going to go hit it for another day. So, great trip. Super fun. Look at the mixed bag here. Help. Who's there? Mule deer and a sheep. What should we call that? It's not a trifecta. Quadfecta. Quadfecta. Fun trip, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave us a comment. Make sure you go check out all our merchandise. Like so, gethushin.com. Subscribe to the channel. Shed tour is not over yet.